Welcome back to Geeks Are Sexy. I am Jason LaDuke, taking over from Michelle Davis on the fourth Thursday of the month. We're here with Sarah Binger. She's our next guest from Dream Builder Bookkeeper. And Sarah's mission is to help small and medium-sized business owners make the world a better place for their customers, loved ones themselves, by offering cloud-based digital bookkeeping services. But she's also a money coach who helps you figure out how your financial decisions impact your business, your family, and those that you care about. So it's not just give me your receipts and I'll do your bookkeeping. It's how can we make you successful? How can we help you understand that the, the, how to make the choices that are going to meet your priorities with your business, your family, your friends, and your loved ones? So yeah. welcome, Sarah. Thank you for being here today. Well, thank you for inviting me. I appreciate it. It's a pleasure. So you're relatively new to Las Vegas, maybe eight months uh, now? A little over a year, actually. A little over a year? Yeah goes by so fast. So how did you come to be here in Vegas and how did you get involved with doing this kind of bookkeeping? Uh, funny story. So I actually had a job with a nonprofit doing some marketing uh, with them and that uh, did not pan out the way I wanted it to. And so I called up a college roommate of mm -hmm. mine from a thousand years ago and said, hey, this is your chance to tell me I can't live with you if I show up at your doorstep, which I did. Mm -hmm. And so I took about three months to road trip out here, just okay. give myself some time and space and mm -hmm. came out and now I'm in Vegas, hit the ground running and really like it. Vegas is great, growing on me, yeah. It's great. We had a couple really cold days a couple days ago, but today is like perfect January oh. Vegas weather. This is like sit by the pool and call all your friends. Like I call my friends who are back in Boston and like, what oh, do you do? What are you doing? I'm sitting by the pool and they grumble something about shoveling snow and they hate me and yes. and then next year I do it all over again. So, Absolutely. So what are some of the standard bookkeeping services you offer and what are the common things you're helping business owners with? So what I tend to do on a monthly basis is reconcile the books. So mm -hmm. look at their bank statements, look at their credit card statements. I'm helping to make sure that everything is going into the right buckets or accounts and uh, making sure that things are compliant, but also in an organized fashion so that they mm -hmm. can take a look at their finances, understand where they are as a business and know where to go and how to grow from, from where they are from a financial standpoint. So that's what I like to do. One of the things mm -hmm. that kind of differentiates me from a lot of bookkeepers is that I do sit down with my clients uh, once a month, whether that's mm -hmm. through a video call or mm -hmm. phone call or in person and actually say, hey, here are your financial reports. Let's talk about them. What mm -hmm. do you understand? What don't you understand? What questions? And then, hey, what are your business goals? Where do you want to go from here? Cool. Yeah, because uh, financial statements, financial reports can be very counterintuitive if you if you aren't really trained to, lines. to under to lines un and numbers but if you're not trained to understand what certain things mean it can be really counterintuitive right so what are some of those things with those financial statements how do you help people interpret those what are, or put another way what are some, are there common things you find with business owners that you need to educate them on so sometimes I see things where because I have a kind of a go coaching background actually I'm a certified mm -hmm. life coach as well so one of the things that I like to do is say hey you've got a lot of expenses in this area mm -hmm. Is that normal for your industry? Or sometimes I know mm -hmm. if it's normal for the industry and I can say, maybe we, we should take a look at this. Maybe there's ways that you can pair back, save a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. There's other things that I can do. Look at the income and say, hey, this avenue of income is a great avenue stream for you. Why don't we focus more on that? We. As if, you know, I like to be invested we, in we the as, business. Wait, we as in the I'm going to have the idea and you're going to go do the work. <laughs> Yeah, that it's your business, so you can take ownership of that as you wish and, you know, take some of those ideas and I, it basically gives you a playground to say, hey, now it's the time for me to, to vision out because most of the time we're just so stuck in the moment by moment, oh gosh, I got to do this email and I got to put this presentation mm -hmm. together and I got to fix this person's thing or whatever it is that you do as a business and you, you, we don't take the time to actually look at how do I want to how do I want to grow my business? Who do I want to be in my business? Yeah, that that all requires really strategic thinking. And, and one, strategic thinking is a skill that needs to be developed over time. It's not something most people start their business and come pre-programmed with unless they're very fortunate. But True. it's also learning, it, developing that strategy, looking at your numbers and using your numbers to, to inform that strategy and that's mm -hmm. that's really where, where it sounds like you're helping people with is well I've got some ideas on how you can 
adjust your strategy or even develop one because I, I see the same thing. A lot of business owners get into the, this is the day to day. I'm out there, I'm doing sales, I'm delivering product, I'm doing customer service, I'm doing all the things that are very important that business owners uh, and businesses have to do, yeah. but it's hard to grow without some strategic thought about what can I do better or different Definitely. in order to make things, in order to make things change. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think uh, that one of the things that I like to do is, is the bookkeeping has a very concrete side to it. You know, here's the number, here's mm -hmm. the receipt, receipt, put it together, all of that. But then there's the coaching side that I like to marry the two together to mm -hmm. say, here's the finances, but where's your vision and how can we put the two together? Now, when, when people come to you to be a client, do they come to you for the coaching or is that something they come to appreciate later on? That's, they come to appreciate that later on. Uh, I am what I figured. primarily and first and foremost a bookkeeper, but because I have this other background, mm -hmm. I wanted to bring that in and have a side to my business that goes with that. I, I'm not a coach. Mm -hmm. I am not a person who is going to tell you what to do and you do A, B, and C. I am mm -hmm. someone who's going to give you questions, suggestions, and ideas, and then you can take take the bull by the horns and do what you wish with it. As someone who does coaching myself, how how do you... I'm trying to think of how to phrase this without offending the entire audience. Um, how, how, do you con to him. how do you convince... Um, uh, your, your, your clients aren't coming to you for the extra... Um, are they receptive to that or does that, you know, how do you, how do you get them over saying, look, I just want to have a conversation, right? How do you, how do you get them to appreciate that conversation? Well, I think that humans in general and, and in our society, we so often don't get the opportunity to be heard. And that's one thing that mm -hmm. I hear a lot from my customer, my clients, as well as even people who don't eventually hire me, you know, Hey, mm -hmm. uh, that it's, they say, Hey, you listened, you heard me. It was like, I was important mm -hmm. and that's just not something that's real common in today's society anywhere. And so I think that when I say, hey, yeah, you want a bookkeeper, great, let's talk. Mm -hmm. And then I sit down with you and I actually say, well, where do you want to go with your business? Tell me about your, you know, your vision for this or tell me where you want to go. Then, hey, then they're like sold on that idea and I can move in that direction. But when we first start out, yeah, it's a lot more of the basic bookkeeping because A, I got to mm -hmm. learn your business. B, you got to get to trust me too. Yeah. I, and it's I really think that's great advice, that, that advice about listening and asking those questions of where do you want to take your business. I think that's great advice no matter what your business is. If you're doing B2B sales, um, you know, unless your product is really cut and dried and everybody wants it right now, um, if you're providing a service, that's probably a really great place to start no matter what your business is, is where do you, where do you my client, want to take your business? Mm -hmm. So now you also help people. Business owners can often be really good at the business side of finance, yes. but they aren't always great on the personal side of finance. So tell us a little about that and how you help. So I am working through a certification process right now called the Money Guide, and it is kind of like a money coach. I think that might actually be trademarked already, so I call mm -hmm. it Money Guide. And it is a service that um, is a coaching service, or, and it's a program that you can go through, a 90-day program that clients can go through. Who It's geared towards business-oriented people, business mm -hmm. owners. Um, it doesn't have to be just that, but really it's to take, take uh, control of your personal finances because there's a lot of people, and this is something I hear, uh, a story I heard from a CPA, came out of college with an accounting degree, got the CPA exam, aced the whole thing, mm -hmm. ended up half a million dollars in debt. And he was like, I know better than this. But yet, mm -hmm. he needed that personal guide to mm -hmm. help him through the process to get him out of debt. and uh, Or to get your expenses under control or to even look, hey, how do I spend my money? What is my relationship with money? Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what the money guide is. Okay, cool. So it sounds like you help people, well one, we could do we could do a whole couple of hours talk on people's relationship with money and the, the different kinds of relationships that are out there with money, but just that how do you know help people set their priorities right? What's important if being ha if being half a million dollars in debt isn't isn't something that bothers you, that's great. But if it's a priority, you get that debt down. There's yeah. ways that you can help. Debt can be so stressful to people, and that we know that that just degrades well being and healthy mm -hmm. relationships with other people. And so, hey, if we can help with that, why not? Yeah, absolutely. So who are you looking to connect with in 2019? 
Good question, Jason. Uh, I absolutely would love to connect a, this is a little bit of a surprise, but um, nonprofit organizations, mm -hmm. they also need accounting and bookkeeping just okay. as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I would love to work with nonprofits, but again, just small and medium sized business owners, people who are looking to give value back to the community. They don't have to be nonprofits, but mm -hmm. you know, people who are looking to make the world a better place, but then also who see the value of taking control of their finances personally, uh, professionally, and looking forward to seeing that value grow. Okay, so all you evil businesses, <laughs> you need not apply. But if you're not an evil business, and you're looking for accounting, bookkeeping, or money help, Talk to Sarah. And how can our audience connect with you if they're not evil? If you're not evil, connect with me. Um, or if you just want to recover from being evil, just kidding. Uh, what's the best way to connect with me? You can go to my website. That's a pretty good one. Dreambuilderbookkeeper.com. Uh, can you, uh, should I give my phone number? Can I give that out? You can do whatever you want. This okay. is the internet. Hey, this is the internet. My phone number's on the website anyways, 541-525-0380, or there's a connect form through uh, the, the website as well, dreambuilderbookkeeper.com, where you build the dream and I'll keep the books. Oh, good tagline. Uh -huh. So, all right, well, thank you for being here today, Sarah. We're going to have you back in just a little bit for our panel discussion. Awesome. And all of you, thank you for being here. Stick with us. We have Sean Willis coming up next from 5AM Global. Stay here.